Today we're going to make disposable plastic bags. You will need a beaker, 1000 milliliters of water, we measured it with this beaker, a scale, weightless paper, um, a cylinder tube, gristlin, or you could also call this gristlin, and gelatin. Now, we're going to add 4 milliliters of the vegetable. Oh, let's glycerin. add the glycerin into the water. Now, you have to mix this very now, well. Measure 360 ml of water from 1000 milliliters of water. Now, we're going to measure out the gelatin. First, let's on our scale. Wait for okay. Open the gelatin, and you need to make sure you get 6.75 gra grams of gelatin. Let's see. I guess that means we have to have a lot of gra gelatin. First, let's heat the water. Make Wait sure the water, water does not boil, but it's hot enough for the gelatin to gradually um, dissolve. Add food coloring. I'm using yellow. Pour the mixture into a baking pan. When it cools, add the seeds. Use a chapstick to also spread them out. So, one week later, the plastic sheets formed. On the first one, every it's good, but since the seeds were real, a bird pecked on one of the seeds and went away eating it. There's also a bit of um air bubbles here some that also popped on the second one super great but only on the seed side there's less air bubbles this happened the air bubbles part happened because the glycerin didn't dispute distribute properly on the plast on the mixture before it went drying so that's why it didn't it doesn't that's why air bubbles came on the third one half is great but then but i covered this this tray on top of the other half of this tray so in that half to where it covered a lot of fungus came because there was no air circulation see the fungus Plus, there's also a lot of air bubbles. At least this one's good. See? We got our plastics ready. I cut it down. And now, with these plastics, I'm going to make a bag. I made, I made a plastic bag. Now... Let's see if it can hold some weight. Careful, careful. Put one orange in there. And then after the banana. Don't know if the banana will stick, so it's sticking out. And it works! Now we're gonna check which plastic can biodegrade properly. So. We have the bioplastic I made, factory bioplastic, and regular bioplastic. Then we're also going to put these bioplastic in this box. This is factory bioplastic pot. This one's my bioplastic pot, and that one's for the normal plastic pot. Now, let's put them in.
put some dirt on. And also add some water. Four weeks later, this is a factory bioplastic. See, it didn't decompose yet, but it's kind of sticking to the ground. Then this is the normal bioplastic. This one also didn't decompose. This is my bioplastic. And I'm digging actually deeper than, the than my bioplastic. That means this one decomposed. This one decomposed. 12 days later, the plants start to grow. Three weeks later, the plants start to grow perfect. A lot of plastic keeps on going into landfills. That has some disadvantages. The first one is that the plastic cannot biodegrade. The second one is that even if the plastic can biodegrade, that plastic could cause methane gas, which is a greenhouse gas that causes the greenhouse, greenhouse effect, and that it takes a lot of years for that plastic to biodegrade. The third thing is that some landfills are super close to oceans that if anything bad happens to the landfill, all of that plastic will just leak into the ocean. Because of that, that, that same ocean to where animals live, those animals will either suffocate and die or otherwise get... In conclusion, we have made biodegradable plastic. The a bag out of biodegradable plastic and test it out if the seeds grew after the biodegradable plastic biodegraded. When it biodegraded, after that, I was surprised to find out that the plant actually grew for real. Plus, this bag, you, after making it, you could use it anytime. The only time you can't use it is after it's biodegraded, because after that, it's gone. But you still have some nice plants. Plus, the one that we used here is wild plants. So, we're going. So when it. So I'm really. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be super surprised to see what does it look like when it's growing to its full and height. Also, gets carbon dioxide from the air and releases out oxygen because of photosynthesis and because the plant has chlorophy which gives a clean green color and that's a good thing because so the so greenhouse emissions can actually lower down thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel smart science kid bye for now see you soon